everybody, I'm Elise Explosion, and I am here with a D-Stash video. So, if you know me, and most of you do at this point have some familiarity with me, if not, hi, welcome to the channel, it's lovely to meet you. Um, I buy stuff. I buy a lot of stuff, and that stuff starts to accumulate. I buy things, I forget about things, I don't want to do things until I have an idea for them. I just misplace them. And next thing you know, it's been like three years and I haven't done a video on something. So I have a lot of these things. And my goal right now is to go through as many of these things as I can to both kind of clean out the room that we're in, to make more space, and to just kind of show y'all what I've been buying. The first thing I'm going to do in this dive into D-Stash series are some old Monster High dolls that I picked up at Five Below three years ago, four years ago. I don't know. It was definitely the before times. Uh, but I found these three. Uh, now, these are 2016 reboot dolls. These are from the Monster Family line, which I think was kind of a mistake to begin with. But... At the time, I was like, oh, I want to get one of every character. And Monster High kind of made it impossible to do that at the end with all of the freaking babies and parents and stuff. I don't have a Dracula doll. If anybody's selling that, let me know in the comments. Uh, but right now we have Ebby Blue, little sister of Laguna. We have Paula Wolf, little sister of... Claudine Wolf. What happened to Howleen? Who knows? She's certainly not appearing in this film. And finally, this is Fangelica, little sister of Draculaura. These dolls are not... They, they remind me a lot of... Oh god, I don't even remember what the line is called. I will pop it in, but the little... Like the insect girls that came with uh, Teresa... Or came, like, you know, you could make them work with Teresa. They are small. They are not articulated. They have brushable hair. That's about it. Uh, but they've been sitting on my shelf for four years. So let's take them out the box and see. Um, removing them from the box is not particularly difficult. And they don't... Oh... Oh dear. I was going to say they don't have a lot of glue heads, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to take these all out of the boxes and we'll be right back. All right. They're out. They're weird. I mean, the face-ups are cute. Like genuinely the face-ups and the screenings are really nice on these dolls. Um, Ebby over here has a jointed fin. So you could kind of make her like stand. Oh, and that was something that just fell off of it for whatever reason. I don't know what it was. It was just like a weird decorative thing. Um, Fangelica came with like cooking equipment. It looks like her wings may detach in the back. And these, these clothing just, it's so cheap looking. It's really, when people talk about how bad the reboot of Monster High was, this is a shining example. Like, okay, Paula here. Her arms are, like, none of them have, like, jointed elbows. So, because Paula's arm is like this, is like this, it just goes up and down like this. Um, their hair is fine, really, but they're all in, like, like okay, she's in, like, pajamas. What are you gonna do in, like, pajamas? She can't go to school like this. She's got, like, literally... Her accessory is like a, uh, an eye mask. Which, you know, children are notorious for wearing. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know where there is a uh, rotation on her freaking tail? I don't know what that means. So that's Paula. Uh, Fangelica. They all have weird feet. Weird big feet. Why does Fangelica have puppy ears? Or cat ears? I guess they're bat ears? Draculaura doesn't have Draculaura those. doesn't have ears. Um, I don't, I don't get it. I, I would mean, take this off of the nail clipper. Yeah. By the way, like, you can. Yeah, like the, the screenings and the face-ups are really nice. It's just the clothing is tacky. The plastic bits are, have no detail to them. There's no, like, emphasis or, or de-emphasization. They've got weird big feet. 
And, I mean, like, okay, Kelpie is probably the least egregious of the three because it kind of makes sense that she's got a mermaid tail. But also at the same time, Laguna doesn't. So why does she? Why? I, I did not do any like watching or reading into the monster family line. So I don't know if this was explained elsewhere, but for the time being, it just, it feels weird, discordant. And I just, I don't, I don't vibe with it. They're cute enough dolls. Um, I'm probably just going to display them regardless, but it, it makes a lot of sense as to why the reboot was so unsuccessful and why people have a lot of hope for the new line that will be coming out. There's just, there's so many things that could have been done better that weren't. And I don't know if it was a cost issue, if it was a lack of care, what it was. It's just, it's really obvious that the love wasn't there and these dolls are suffering for it. So that is that, oh, bye. Bye, Paula. Just give me Howleen, you know? Howleen was such a great character. Like, Claud or Claudine's entire family, as established, was really great. And they just had to give her, like, four little siblings. And I think maybe Howleen made an appearance once. It's just, it's, it's weird. I don't like it. But anyway, friends, that's, that's the monster family little kid line. So let me know what you think. I don't have any more of these. I don't think I'll be getting any more of these. Uh, but was it, was it worth a $5 buy at five below four years ago? Yeah, sure. Why not? That being said, everybody, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more better Monster High videos, you're in luck. And I've got a whole bunch that I will link at the end of this video. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later.